Hi there. Now for this question, we're given the curve C has parametric equations x equals 2 sine t and y equals 1 minus cosine of 2t, where t is greater than or equal to minus pi upon 2, but less than or equal to pi upon 2. And in the first part, we've got to find dy by dx at the point where t equals pi upon 6 for four marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll run slowly through the work solution, or you might want to fast forward just to get an overview. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, in order to find dy by dx when we've got parametric coordinates, what we need to do is use the chain rule. And just as a brief reminder, if you're trying to find dy by dx and you've got t's here as a parameter, it's the same as doing dy by dt and multiplying it with dt by dx. That's the chain rule, and you should be familiar with that. When you're doing this kind of work, though, it's easier, quite often, to change this to dy by dt divided by dx by dt. Same thing, okay, but uh, it's more convenient more often than not. So let's just bear that in mind when we're working this out. So we'll start first of all with x. We're told that x equals 2 sine t. And we're going to need to work out dx by dt. So therefore dx by dt differentiating this, differentiating the sine function then is going to give us cosine, so it's going to be 2 cosine of t. And now if we take y, we're told that y equals 1 minus cosine of 2t, and if we differentiate this with respect to t, we therefore have dy by dt equals well, constant zero, differentiating minus cos 2t is going to give us 2 sine 2t. Okay, so that means that therefore dy by dx is going to equal, and I'm going to pick off this version here for this one. So it's dy by dt, which is 2 sine 2t, and this is then divided by dx by dt, which is 2 cos t. Now I could cancel out these two 2's here, leaving me with sine 2t over cos t, and then just carry on and substitute t equals pi upon 6 in. And you'll get the right answer, assuming you don't make any mistakes that is, but uh, I'm going to do it a different way. Okay, I'm just going to expand, not that you have to do this, I'm just going to expand the sine 2t. We can see that these two 2's cancel, okay, but if we expand sine 2t, we get 2 sine t cos t, using the double angle formally, and then this is divided by cos t. And you can see we get quite a nice simple answer now, because cosine t's cancel one another out. So therefore this is equal to 2 sine t and there's less substitution. So we need to find out what dy by dx is then when t equals pi upon 6. And that means that therefore dy by dx is going to equal 2 times the sine of pi upon 6. Now remember we're working radians and if you want to use your calculator just put it in radians mode. But pi upon 6 is an easy angle, I remember it as 30 degrees and the sine of 30 degrees is a half. So it's really going to be 2 times a half which is going to come to 1. Okay.